Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you five DIY McDonald's craft ideas. If you like food or snacks, click that like button and comment down below with your favorite food or snack item. If you're not already subscribed and you'd like to see more fun DIY videos, please click that subscribe button. The first idea will be DIY McFlurry Slime. For this one, I will be using one of these push pop containers. I will leave a link down below to where you can find these. I wanted to turn this into a miniature version, so I placed a piece of tape around it and cut on the line, so I was left with two pieces. I'm going to use this part of the push pop container to look like the spoon coming out of it, so I'm just going to cut it down to size. On a piece of parchment paper, I'm going to put some hot glue, then I'm going to take the top part of the container that I cut, place that in the hot glue, and that will seal the bottom. Once the hot glue has cooled down, remove any from the side and lift it away from the parchment paper. Print out the McFlurry label. I will leave the link down below and cut it down to size. Wrap it around the container and secure with glue and or tape. And here is what you should have at this point. Now I'm going to show you how to make fluffy ice cream slime to go in the McFlurry container. In a bowl I'm going to add a half a cup of Elmer's white glue. Next I'm going to add in a half a cup of shaving foam and mix that together. Next, I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of baking soda to the glue and shaving foam and mix that together. Now I'm going to slowly start adding in some contact lens solution until it forms slime. And here is my fluffy slime. Now to turn this into an M&M McFlurry, I have started with some red polymer clay and I just cut that into little circles using a straw and then I repeated the same process with other colors. Once I had all my colors cut out, I just placed those in the oven and baked according to the package instructions. Take some of the white fluffy slime and fill the McFlurry container. Then I add the polymer clay pieces to the top. And that is how you make this DIY McFlurry fluffy slime. The second project will be DIY miniature soda pen. For this one, you will need one of these little red Solo Cups. I will leave a link down below to where you can find these. Place the cup on a piece of cardboard, trace around it, and cut it out. Once the cardboard piece is cut out, it should fit in the cup like this. Now I'm going to make a hole in the middle and you just want to make the hole big enough so a straw will fit through it. Here is what mine looks like at this point. Make the fake ice pieces in a silicone cupcake pan. I'm going to put some hot glue and let that cool down. You can also use beads for this part if you would like. Once 
once the glue was cooled down, I removed them from the cupcake pan. Now I'm gonna cut them into little square pieces. Now I will be mixing some brown and black acrylic paint together until I get a color that resembles cola. Once I had my paints mixed together in the color I wanted, I added some clear Elmer's glue and mixed that together. Now take the cardboard circle and place some clear Elmer's glue on that, then start adding the hot glue pieces so it looks like ice. Pour the paint mixture over the top, set that aside, and let it dry. Here is mine after it was dry. Glue the cardboard piece to the inside of the cup. Print out the printable, the link will be down below, and cut it down to size. Wrap the label around the cup and secure with glue and or tape. I'm going to use the ink from one of these pens. Place the straw in the cup and cut it down to size. Put the ink in the straw and cut off any excess. Glue the ink into the straw. And that's all there is to these easy miniature DIY soda pens. The third and fourth idea will be a miniature french fry notebook and pens. To get started, head to the link down below, print out the french fry box, and cut it out. Once it's cut out, fold on the lines to form it into a french fry box, and then use glue to secure it together. Now you will also need to print out this printable and cut it out. Once it's cut out, it should fit in the fry box just like this. The piece that was just cut out, trace around it, cut out several sheets, and this will become the notebook. Once all the pieces are cut out, take the yellow striped piece, place that on top, and clip it all together. To bind the notebook together, I painted on a thick layer of white Elmer's glue. Set that aside and let it dry. Here is mine once it was dry. To make the pens, I'm going to use a yellow sponge. Start cutting the sponge into pieces that resemble french fries. We'll be using the ink from these mini pens. If you don't have a mini pen, you can use a regular one and cut it down to size. I trimmed a little part off of the ink so that the fries weren't so big. To make it easier to get the ink into the sponge, I used a wooden skewer to create a hole, and then I slowly pulled it out and placed the ink in there. Repeat that same process for as many pen fries as you would like to make. Now 
you can place the notebook in the fry container and then start placing your french fry pens in there. And I just made a few french fry pens and then just placed some extra pieces of the sponge in there so it was filled. And that is how you make these easy DIY miniature notepad and french fry pens. Last idea will be a DIY phone case that looks like an apple pie. I'm going to start with some beige polymer clay and I'm going to roll that into a ball and flatten it out. Next I sprinkled some cinnamon onto the clay and I mixed that all together. Once the cinnamon was mixed into the clay, I rolled the clay out, then I traced around just the top part of the phone case, and this is going to be the top half of the apple pie. Once I had the first piece cut out, I placed that on top of another piece of rolled out clay and cut out another piece that was identical. To create a fake apple pie filling, I'm going to cut up some small pieces of the clay, then I'm going to place those in the middle, then place the other piece of clay on top and press it together to look like an apple pie. I used a fork to make little indents around the apple pie. Before I baked it, I sprinkled on some cinnamon and spread it around. Then I baked it according to the package instructions. Print out the apple pie label and cut it out. Here is my apple pie piece after it was baked and also my label after it was cut out. Now I'm going to place my apple pie on a phone case where I would like it, the label on top, and glue it together. And that's all there is to this DIY apple pie phone case. I hope you guys enjoyed all five of these DIY ideas. Leave me a comment, let me know which one was your favorite. As always, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, I hope you guys all have an amazing day.